Hi Leo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 25th through December the 31st, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for December the 25th through December the 31st, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for December the 25th through December the 31st, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Leo for December the 25th through December the 31st, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo, Leo, this is a peek at your partner. So, Leo, your partner has the Six of Swords. Your partner has the Empress. Your partner has the Nine of Swords. Your partner has the Chariots. And your partner has the Page of Wands. So, Leo, your partner has the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that they're physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner is saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now, your partner could tell me that maybe they have to travel, maybe to deal with their finances here, okay, maybe for work or business. Or your partner is telling me that, hey, we broke up, so I'm just moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship. Or we broke up, but I want us to put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Leo, your partner has the empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but... When we're dealing with this empress, the empress is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Empress is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. This can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Leo's partner. Clarify the empress for Leo's partner. Clarify the empress for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. 
Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that their ships are here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. So listen, Leo, you know, this could be about your partner's abundance here, okay? And they may be waiting for something to come into them. Or dealing with this abundance, they may want to travel, okay, because of these coins here. However, your partner could tell me that they're waiting to see whether or not they want to nurture this relationship further or whether you guys are going to nurture the relationship further. Leo, your partner has the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Leo, your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Leo, yes, you guys very well may be soulmates, but this can also be in an agreement. So your partner can tell me that they're worried about you guys' soulmate connection, whether or not you're going to get back together here. Or your partner is worried about some type of an agreement, maybe dealing with these coins. Leo, your partner has the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Leo, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Leo's partner. Clarify the chariot for Leo's partner. Clarify the chariot for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the emperor and the empress. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. This could all be work or business for your partner as well. Clarify the emperor for Leo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Leo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So listen, Leo, could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that they're in the dark concerning something. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Leo's partner. Clarify the moon for Leo's partner. Clarify the moon for Leo's partner. It is clarified with this nine of swords again. So your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. I feel like your partner is bothered by making some type of move. Now, it could be a move for financial reasons, maybe dealing with work or business here, their coins, yes. Or your partner's saying, you know, I, they don't know how they're going to move on. They're waiting, okay, because there's an element of the unknown or whether or not you guys are going to just, you know, continue on with your relationship. Leo, your partner has the page of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or a Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Leo, your partner could be receiving passionate messages. They could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So listen, Leo, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. You know, it very well could be that we had this heated discussion or argument. Now, this can be in relationships or at work or business. And they're kind of on a break from the relationship. Yes, you guys broke up. It could also be a break for from work or business here dealing with these coins. This is why your partner's trying to figure out their next move or making a move or physically traveling here. Maybe for these coins' sake. Leo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 25th through December the 31st, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.